what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a tutorial on how to set up an eden style shifter for american truck simulator uh, you can get these shifters off amazon or ebay wherever you want to get them i got mine off amazon uh, some of them come with instructions on how to install them some of them don't but we'll walk you through it today and get it done so as you can see right here you got your reverse gear you got your low gear you got your first and fifth gear your second and sixth gear, your third and seventh gear, and your fourth and eighth gear. And you get your low and highs all through there too. So uh, we'll show you how to set that up real quick. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to come on over here and go to options. You want to jump in here to controls. And you want to find your shifter. You want to make sure you have it highlighted. See right here, this is my Thrustmaster. This is the actual shifter base right here. And then I got the gear knob right here, gear shift knob. Yours will probably say something different. That's just what mine says, but I'll pull down a new one so we can look through here. But you want to pull it down, you want to have it highlighted. Now, if yours is not in there, you probably want to run the setup wizard, make sure it gets installed on here. But usually it'll just pop up once every you click on one of these, scroll down and find it, it should be in there. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you come over here to transmission and you want the H shifter to be highlighted. You got a couple of different options down through here, but if you want to use this shifter knob, you got to have H shifter highlighted, which I do. And then we'll scroll on down through here. And you want to have whichever truck you're going to use, the transmission that you're going to use in the truck, you want to have that highlighted. My trucks always use 18 speeds, but if you want to use a 10 speed or 13 speed, you can play around with these two. I never really use them, but keep it easy and simple. You just want to go to whatever speed transmission you're going to use. So right now I'm always using 18 speeds. That's what I'll use. But if you want to use a 10 speed or a 13 speed, you can have that highlighted too. And then we'll go on to the next one. You want to keep this at advanced. That is the easiest thing to do, I think. And then come on over here to clutch and throttle. If you want to float your gears, that is what you want. So you'll have the clutch release when you start, start rolling. And then you can float the rest of the gears when you have that selected. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up. So you want to slide on down here to your shifter position to reverse. Now this is the tricky part. Um, depending on which kind of shifter you have, well, what kind of base you have is going to determine this. But with the Thrustmaster that I have, um, we will not use this last gate over here, but while setting it up, we'll have to use it. So we'll click on reverse and you want to go all the way over and down to your reverse mark on the shifter. That will set that one. And then you want to come back over here to shift to position number one and you want to put it in your true number one position on any regular shifter so click on that we'll go all the way over and up to the left there we go then we'll go down to position number two all the way over down then we'll go to position number three which will be straight up position of the number four go straight down Position number five, go over and up. And position number six, go to the right and down. And we got the, all those set up. Uh, you want to come over here to your shift toggle. Can't remember which ones these are, so let's try this. I think this one, yeah. So that one will be your range, and this one will be your splitter. So you want to get those set up. If you look at this shifter, you can see a range button right there. Well, that's not range, that's your splitter, but there it is right there. And here's this one. I think that's how it goes. I don't know, but that's how you set it up. So this one will be right here. Yep. And this one's right here. So you'll select your range with this button on the back right here. 
and then this will be a splitter could be opposite i'm not sure i don't drive a truck so this could be splitter this could be range but that's how you set it up in the game um i would assume that range would be high or low so if that's the case then this would be your splitter so your back button here splitter and then the side button would be your range. It's like that. I'm assuming. I'm guessing there. And you want to come down here and and have this highlighted. Shifter toggles use switch mode. That's what you want. You want them to switch in between. So make sure that's highlighted. Got mine highlighted. And this stuff down here, if you ever want to use an automatic, you can have these set up too. Um, but it's just simple. You just click on that, you go straight up, and then click on this, you go straight back. So I know Thrustmaster sells a plate that you can put on here. I think it came with mine, I'm not too sure, but it'll just have all the gates shut, and you'll just have this one gate open where you can just swing back and forth, which you don't really need it. But in case you want it, there it is. Uh the gate that we will not use the whole time after the setup is this last gate over here. So we'll never use that gate. The farthest, farthest we'll go over is here and then here. So you'll just use in between here. I might get me a uh, one of those gate blockers for this particular shifter. That way I, I don't get confused and try to slide it all the way over, which I've done in the video. I'm sure y'all have seen that, but slide it way over and try to get up in there. We, we don't use those but um that is pretty much it we'll hop into the game here real quick and we'll make sure i didn't make any changes because everything was already set up i just walked out through it but we'll come on in, in here and make sure everything's set up right so i'll come over here and start the truck up i got the parking brake and everything on right now she's in neutral so everything is good and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run through the gears real quick and make sure they're right so i'm going to just press the clutch in and go up and as you can see on my dash there it says one low so i can switch that go up again that'll be one high and if we come back remember we got this button back here if we split that up That'll take you to five high, you know, and this will be five low. Come on back down. We'll move this button again. Come down. That'll be two low. Hit that button. That'll be two high and so on. So if you're running through a regular shift pattern, you'll start out at one low. Come on back, hit this button on the left hand side, come up one high, you flip your button again, come down too low, flip it again, too high, flip it, three low, back out, three high, come down, yep, loosen my gate there, there it is, four low, four high, and then you want to hit your button here, hit the button on the back too. That'll get you up in fifth gear. So fifth is up. Come back out. Five high. Six low. Six high. Seven low. Seven high. Eight low. 8 high, then if you want to get into reverse, come on over here, go up, you got reverse 2 low, let's switch that, you got reverse 1 low, so that'll be your lowest reverse gear, then you got reverse 1 high, that'll be a little bit higher gear, and you can also flip that button on the back, flip this button, then you got reverse too low, which is even faster. And then flip, flip your switch again here. 
and you got reverse two high which is even faster that's your highest reverse gear right there and we'll come on over set everything back the way it was come on down to your low gear you got low low flip the button on the side and you got low high so what we can do real quick is we can start out in low low and get this break off trailer break off too because we got a trailer on there and then we can just start on out let's clutch out and since we have everything set up this way all you got to do is let go of the gas and then press it again you can shift your gear now the low the first gear is real tricky so always push the clutch in for that one anyway so now we're in one low lift out the gas one high come on down flip it again yeah i think we missed that gear there we go let me turn the lights on so we can see the dashboard here there we go hit it one more time all right get too low too high Miss third, there we go, three low, three high. Miss fourth gear, four low, four high. Now we're gonna flip both buttons, try to get in fifth. There we go, fifth low, or five low, five high. Six low and we need it up. Oh, almost needed to stop, but we don't. All right, six low. She's lugging a little bit. Let's get up to speed just a tiny bit there. Six high. And we're not gonna look at no traffic lights right now, so. Get on up to seven low. There we go. Probably should have got on the highway. It'd be a little bit easier to show y'all. Let's do that. Let's, um, yeah, we're going to have to because we're about to run into the wall there. Got my brake set pretty high in case I run into mistakes like that. Don't slam in the walls. And then get out on the highway here. Three high. And I normally don't. I normally don't split them unless I got a real heavy load. So I'll just stay in high gear, reach other gears I select. Signal light on here. All right. Now six high. And let's go to seven low. So I'll flip the one on the left hand side there. Seven low. Get it on up to seven high. Come on back again for eight low. Yeah, we got into it. And one more time for eight high. That'll be our final gear. Let me get up to speed just a little bit more. There we go. now we're running an eight high and that's how you use all your gears i'll stop up here and we'll throw her in reverse uh probably not a good place to do this but it's all right um i also i didn't show it but i have a button on the side here if you can see it and that turns my engine brake on so well jake brake whatever you want to call it but you can see it on the dashboard there. Little symbol will come up that lets me know my Jake brakes on or engine brake. Um, should have showed that, but I didn't. Uh, a lot of them don't come with this button, so that's why I didn't show it. But we'll go on over here. It's gonna suck if we got cars behind us, but we'll come on over here to reverse. I got it in reverse high, and that's a pretty high gear if I can demonstrate it. I don't want to slam into those cars though, so let's uh let's try to find somewhere else. It's kinda of hard.
hard to shift through these the way I got the camera set up here right in my way that wasn't bad so I'm shifting and driving at an odd angle right now but we're getting it done let's see here probably not going to be a good spot to do it I could get on over on the side of the road here and probably do it and we just hit a car I don't have my track IR on right now, so I can't swing my head and see what's behind me or around me. That's what I use. Uh, we can do a tutorial on that too if y'all want. Uh, let's see, that's fine. Alright, so let's get into reverse one high. You can see that winds out pretty quick. Now, if we want to go to reverse too high, see she's lugging a little bit, and she speeds up quite a lot. But I almost hit a car there, so let's not do that anymore. But that's it. Hopefully, I'll walk through it enough for everybody. Um, depending on which shifter you have, will be a little different, but that's how you set them all up. Like if you had. A shifter that didn't have as many gates as here. Let me stop real quick. Let's turn the truck off. Pull our brakes on. We'll probably go back to the options menu real quick. Just to show y'all here. All right. Um, because I had the regular shifter that came with the steering wheel at first, the Logitech. And if I'm recalling right, we, we still set it up the same way. Instead of going all the way over here to this gate, on that shifter, I come down to fifth gear. And what ended up happening is on shifter position six, there was nothing there. So I only had one, two, three, four, five, six gates. So six would have been my reverse. So this, this right here, this button, for position number six was nothing. I didn't set it up for anything. So that's what you want to do when your shifters. You want to go to whatever your furthest gate is and down would be your reverse. So when you're setting that up, that's how you set that up. And then you come over here and finish, you know, first, second, third, fourth position, and then fifth, fifth position. Then you just wouldn't have a sixth position, but once you get into the game, it'll work the same way as mine does now. And that was one of the reasons why I got this shifter instead of keeping the Logitech was because I wanted that six gear just to be highlighted for no reason because you really don't need it. But that's what I wanted to do. So, And this one is a little bit stronger, too, than the Logitech. You know, you can bang these gears around a little bit. Get this metal plate on the outside. Doesn't hurt things as much as the other one did. The other one started getting a little sloppy, so. Um, but that's it. I'm gonna, let me see if I could find, I don't use eye tracking. Um, I think it's in keys and buttons for the engine brake. Yeah, it is. Okay. Engine brake toggle. Yep. And this is it right here. So this would be that button on the side. If you could see it, there's a little button right there. You push that and that would be my engine brake. And if you go over here to my button box, you get the engine brake increase and decrease, which would be right here. So I could turn that up to increase my engine brake, turn it down to decrease it. So uh, these button boxes come in pretty good handy. Um, no, it's not a tutorial for that, so I won't get into that today. But uh, it's definitely a good buy if you want to get into this. Um, but I think that'll do it for today. We got everything set up here. I, I'm pretty sure I went through everything, all the hurdles I had to jump through when I first got mine set up. Um, but like I said, if you need some help, just come back to this video. Um, kind of a longer video for a tutorial, but I wanted to make sure I covered everything, all the layouts and stuff like that, especially all the different shifters and you know knobs you would get. But I uh, appreciate y'all coming to watch. And as always, have a good one.